I actually got into mobile security almost by accident. A guy who had sold to me in a previous life was recruiting for a new job, and I looked at it and I thought, I get to just play with consumer electronics all the time? That sounds awesome and was going to be a, a whole lot less stressful than uh, my previous job. And it turns out that that was probably wrong, but uh, it has turned out to be a lot of fun. Best part about being involved with Mr. Robot actually is the nerd cred that you get. It's interesting, uh, there is actually a character who appears in the, the final episode of season one that uh, has my name and so it's always funny to watch total strangers make that connection that they realize that may be some linkage there if they don't know about my involvement. So that's certainly interesting. One of the things that I really enjoy about Mr. Robot is the thing that it's gotten a lot of credit for which is its uh, almost maniacal attention to detail when it comes to the accurate depiction of technology. So I have actually been very, very fortunate that none of the things depicted in the show have actually happened to me yet. <laughs> Technology as friend or foe, I think it really all comes down to how you use it. Oftentimes it is very friendly, uh, but it can also be a, a pretty serious foe if not treated with care. Hacking is really kind of happening all the time in some form or fashion. The good news for uh, most folks is that mobile phones are not particularly easy to hack, which is not to say that they've never been hacked. But I think they are a very attractive target for attackers because so much personal data resides on them, and that data is actually very valuable in a lot of different capacities. So folks definitely need to be diligent about protecting their digital information, especially uh, their identity on their mobile devices.